Hello everybody, welcome back to the Shadow Zone and would you look at that, this is my recreation of the Normandy from the video game series Mass Effect and as requested is it has got an interior. We're here in deck 2, in the middle deck, with the escape pods where Kellogg Kerman, uh, no you can't eat him, uh, Kellogg Kerman just went outside of one of the escape pods, for some reason he was chilling in one, and let's take a small tour of deck 2. Here we got the captain's quarters, where the magic happens, for all of you who remember the video game series. We have the mess hall, and there is the med bay and science lab, and Kellogg Kerman just stumbled across his own feet. So here should be Liara Tassoni and Dr. Chakwas, they are both not here. Uh, but we have some other things that we can look at. This is supposed to be the elevator. And here we have the stairs up to the command deck, deck 1. Here we have our galaxy map. Well, we can imagine that this is the galaxy map. And here we get in front to the pilots then there we go five seats and joker in the middle of course well he as well is not here maybe he's on vacation stretching his legs or anything so one more thing to show you on deck one it's the council chamber so to speak so where those, all those little talks with your crew members happen and I modified it by adding some science labs. And so let's head down to engineering, the final deck. Here we have some fuel cells and our power generation devices. And yeah, so much for the interior. So what else can this baby do? Um, yeah, you just, just got a sneak peek of what's inside the cargo bay. Uh, cargo bay opening uh, by using a self-made rail. Uh, those are fairings split in two parts. I showed you a little sneak preview of that a few days back. And here we got the Mako. Uh, yeah. Who touched down? I cheated a little bit and lowered Kerwin's gravity so this thing can fall out without exploding. Mako, of course, with full science equipment and, of course, also ore uh, scanning capabilities. And yeah, this is now the tricky part. This thing has 1700 parts uh, without the launcher. And everything you can see here is sped up to 8 times regular speed. So the thing that you can see here, the explodey bit, I had to wait five minutes for all of these explosions to finish. So yeah, no way I could have gotten this in space the regular way, so I used the magic of hyper edit. Here in the back we got a small resource probe. It just got uh, the resource scanner and some monopropellant engines. We have docking ports on port and starboard. And we have some resource collectors, some mining rigs. Yes, they can uh, each gather 3000 units of ore, have two drills and should have enough Delta V, for instance, to make a run from Minmus or a Paul uh, to back to the ship. If you manage to get this beast somewhere near uh, the dual planetary system. Well, in theory it should work, since uh, this Normandy creation has about 4000 meters per second of delta V. We're just deploying the mining rig so you can have a better look at it. So it's just some radial tanks, two LV-909 engines and a probe core. And now, witness the power of this fully operational spaceship. It can fly! Yes, it can, and it does not break apart, at least not once it's out of the atmosphere. And the four Kerberdyne KR2L, or short Rhino engines, uh, they provide loads of thrust, and you can get quite easily from A to B. But in order to turn, you can see it right here, I'm trying to 
turn this baby around, but this takes some time. And it took even more time in real time, because as I mentioned before, this is sped up eight times. So what else can I show you? I can show you the escape pods. Remember those where Kellogg Kerman exited? They are fully functional. And here they go. One, two, uh, uh, yeah. well, it's outside. For some reason, the third escape pod group is always spinning when I try to get them outside of the ship, but they get outside of the ship and if there were Kerbals on board, they would survive a catastrophe on board. But now I'm going to, well, create a catastrophe, because if you remember the Mass Effect series, this spaceship, the Normandy SR-1, was destroyed at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. But since we don't have any of those collector aliens around, we are using one of the two most dangerous enemies in Kerbal Space Program. The first, of course, being gravity, and the second, of course, the atmosphere. So, yes, we are going to re-enter this thing in Kerbin's atmosphere and see what happens. Nothing good, I presume. So, I'm setting a maneuver node. There's about 30,000 kilometers, that should be enough. Uh, 30,000 meters, of course, 30,000 kilometers, that would be uh, easy. So 30 kilometers and setting up the new maneuver node. Reaction wheels working overtime to get this uh, beast pointing at the right direction. You know, when I did that in real time, first I did not know if the ship was moving at all because it was so slow but it was and it is and it is ready for action well one more action so to be honest because we got just going to do this final burn and then we're going to get it back down to terra firma well it won't survive i'm pretty sure this thing cannot be in any way aerodynamically stable. So the games have been lying to you. Yeah, sorry. But we're thrusting with our eight Rhino engines. The lower ones, of course, have reduced thrust so that the center of thrust stays in the center of mass. And we're closing in on uh, reaching the correct periaps. There's a minor design change, well, there are a lot of design changes compared to the real one, but one of uh, I did is the SR2, the one from Mass Effect 2, has these uh, open end segments behind the engine like my design here has. I tried with a closed segment like the original Normandy from the Mass Effect series, but unfortunately then the thrust would not work because they would act as an obstacle. So maybe that was the reason why the SR2 had those open tail segments. And we are closing in on the atmosphere, minorly adjusting, uh, just a minor adjustment to my uh, vector. And then it is time to enter the atmosphere. So some, oh, we're already in. Yeah. Oh, well, that was earlier than expected. So Air Force is already kicking in at about 50 kilometers and already ripping it apart. Remember, this was a 1500 ton ship ripped apart by air. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.